all the rest of them. We usually take the head like this, patient's prone, we're going like this, right? Everybody agree with that? Okay, well, what about, now that's only distracting the joint, right? What about if it's distracted, compressing it, okay? Now I want you to learn vectors. So we're gonna take a contact with the thumb on the rib head here. We're gonna fill these vectors. We're gonna fill that lock. We're gonna, see how my hand, my fingers are going down the side of the head? I'm kinda lifting the head up here. I'm bringing it into lock position. Feel that? Everybody hear that? Yeah. yeah that's what out here. Okay. So here we have attachments of that first rib going up into all the scalenes up in here. Okay. Now we're going to take the second and third digits. We're going to go on the front because we can go behind the clavicle and we have the first and second ribs here. So we're going to duck the chin some here. We're going to find right where it locks. It may be nose toward, nose neutral, nose away. We don't know where it's going to be. We're looking for all these vectors to lock. Feel that? So his <laughs> whole rib was out this way. We had to adjust it in on the front and the back. You feel that? I, I felt something here, mm -hmm. here, and... Yeah, right in here, yeah. right in here. So, so he had it several areas. Now a lot of these things just gave because the rib shifted. So you got chronic lower neck pain, upper thoracic pain because you didn't properly address the first and second ribs. And this is a way to do that. Okay. Wow. Everybody got that? Yes. I got a problem. Mm -hmm. When I was in the hospital, one, I used a uh, cardio glide, you know, kind of like yeah. rolling. Mm -hmm. All I did is like five reps. Right. Next morning I woke up and these two fingers are just dead as heck. Uh -huh. And the ultrasound or the physical therapist, they wouldn't let me go to the chiropractor. Yeah. Twice to ask them. Yeah. So they let me go to the doctor, the medical doctor, sent mm -hmm. me to the physical therapist. He got a patient says, I think it's your first trip. That guy did some moves on me. I'm used to people doing them. Mm -hmm. He he was good. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to steal. I said, Okay, it's not a stroke because it's strong. Uh -huh. I took some aspirin anyway, just to be sure. Well, don't overlook the first rib. He, that's what he said it was. Yeah. So, what can the first rib compress on to cause problems all the way down? Brachial plexus. Brachial plexus, what's the condition called? Thoracic outlet syndrome. Thoracic outlet syndrome, okay. One of my patients and his wife happened to be the preeminent thoracic outlet surgeon in the whole United States. He had people coming into him from all over because he had so little problems with scar tissue afterwards. I took care of his wife and him. He gave it up. After doing it for 30 some years, I said, Dr. Bierman, why did you give it up? You're the best. He says, I know, but I never saw that it did any good. This guy gave up 85% of his practice for 35 years because he never saw it do any good. And he was the best at it. I admire that guy, you know? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you adjust, you properly adjust these first couple of ribs, and again, I was taught just like you to distract them, but nobody ever taught me to do the compression move, okay? And it can affect so many things in here, all right? So, you take the other side here, okay? Okay, and you're going to take your thumb on that first rib head right here. You're going to take your hand the side of his neck and head like this. Okay, and you're going to take a firm contact here. You're going to say, okay, let your head come over. We're going to rotate it. You feel it lock, and it goes. Hear that? Is Way to go, Sufe. That was the rib, first rib. Very good. Hey, G note the first time. Mm -hmm. Now, you take the second and third fingers right here behind the clavicle on the front, okay? I don't think Gonstead got a gene up the first time. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Specific so we're going right here. And this time you're going to tuck the chin. And you're going to rotate. You're going to rotate it around until you feel everything lock. Okay, and there it is. Can you check me with that? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I, I want everybody to do that move on the first rib on the back here in the first and second rib on the front, okay? 
it'll be a few minutes before we get the next part for you. Okay. All right. All right.